Hi, so this is Nicholas and this short video is a quick update on some of the work I've been doing recently. So over the past few weeks I've been attending various user groups and teach me type events and talking to developers and teachers about the work that we've been doing so that we have MicroPython running on the BBC's Microbit. The good news is that everybody has unanimously been very positive about it, especially the teachers. Um, but one of the things that uh, we've realised is that we need to improve the development experience for our users um, because, well, it's currently all based on Microsoft's touch develop environment, which is web based. So for a start, you need to be connected to the Internet in order to be able to access the tools. And sometimes in a classroom, that's not always possible. Um, the other thing is that uh, touch develop doesn't show Python in perhaps its best light. So, for example, there's no way to be able to access the REPL, the, uh, the tool that allows you to type Python directly into the micro bit and watch it uh, react immediately, which is a great way of uh, experimenting and exploring uh, with code before you actually turn it uh, into a Python script. So, um, we worked out that actually um, or we've tried uh, to create a, what's called a native editor. So this is something that actually runs on your local computer. And it will run on Windows and OS X and Linux. Um, and this editor should have a built-in REPL, so you don't have to uh, faff about trying to connect things up uh, like we've had to recently. Uh, it should also be very easy to flash the device. It should just be a touch of the button and you shouldn't have to download anything or drag anything. Uh, it should just work. Um, the teachers would like an editor that won't confuse kids and is simple enough for them to use. And they would like the fact that uh, it would be great if it could work offline because school networks are infamous for being unreliable. And because we are a free software community, the Python community, it would be great if it was free software, freely available. So the community takes ownership of this work and can run with the editor and develop it as they see fit. So, over the past few days in the evenings and over this weekend, I've uh, been working on a Chrome app. So, Chrome is obviously Google's web browser and uh, James Curran, a university professor um, from Australia, uh, was telling me about Chrome and I had a look at it and it seemed like it was an interesting avenue to explore. So, I've actually created a Python editor. Uh, for teachers and kids uh, that, that will run locally um, for you. Uh, and it's very simple, obviously. Here's the editor. Uh, there's not much more to it than you type your Python in. Uh, hard to be confused about that. Uh, you can start a new file, load an existing file, or save a file, which are the sort of the three interactions for uh, generating and, uh, and manipulating um, a script in terms of saving and loading. Um, we have snippets, which I've borrowed from uh, the Python editor on Touch Develop. So snippets are short box of code that you can reuse in your own programs. And if you select a snippet, uh, it will walk you through the way that you need to write the code so that you, for example, here have a while loop uh, created for you. So let's just delete that. Um, also, teachers really love the fact that you can zoom in so that when they're doing a presentation with their whiteboards, all the kids at the back will be able to see uh, what it is that they are showing. Um, but, and here are the two interesting things, it has a REPL built in. So I click the REPL button and here at the bottom half of the screen is the prompt uh, which allows me to uh, interact directly with the MicroPython um, REPL running on the microbit itself. Okay, this is very useful. I can do all sorts of interesting things. So display dot show image dot sad. So at the moment, my micro bit is showing a sad face on the 5x5 five five LED matrix. Um, but actually, what I want to do is turn that into a script. And uh, here's my script. And I want it to display a happy face on the 5x5 five five LED matrix. And the way I do that, um, if I want this script to run 
directly on the device without me having to use the REPL is I flash this script onto the device. And I do that by clicking here. And uh, because this is the first time I've done it, um, the editor asks me, well, where is the micro bit? And I, I show it where it is on my file system. I click open and you can't see this at the moment, but uh, the device is being flashed. I can see that because the yellow LED at the back is flashing on and off. And in a few seconds, there it is. Um, I can see a smiley happy face. So the interaction with the device, with the micro bit is incredibly smooth. Um, it, we're not encumbered by the limitations of, of the of the web or, or browsers or anything like that. And it's just incredibly simple and everything you need is in the place that you need it. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you may have, um, but that's it for now. I'll put a link to the code um, which will be stored in GitHub uh, to the micro bit mailing list. Thanks a lot for listening.